Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Fula Kamara. Today we are in chapter 22, pay down credit card feature. The benefits of pay down credit card feature. The client often categorize credit card payment to an expense account rather than to the credit card liability account, which leads to incorrect balances. They may also end up with duplicate entries in the bank feed if they add a credit card there instead of following the correct workflow. So let's go to QuickBooks Online to see how to create a pay down credit card. So to, in order to create a pay down credit card, we click plus new and select pay down credit cards once we select pay down credit card you can see record payment made to your balance so which credit card did you pay so in this case we can select from the down arrow to select which of the credit card whether be it a mastercard or visa we also had the option to add new in this case we will just select mastercard then the payee the payee mean the bank that has the credit card that is the bank the credit card was issued from let's say for example if it was bank of america you can select bank of america if it is uh chase you can select chase or capital one you can select capital one so whatever bank so in this case we can just select any of the the pays from these options or you also have the option to add a pay so whatever pay we have we can select the pay from the the drop down so in this case let's just say we select change gas and oil you have the option to choose any payee whether it be it bank of america chase or any other bank or credit card company so how much did you pay so the amount that you pay to the credit card company let's say for example if the credit card company is bank of america they issue the credit card to you you spend 200 dollars or maybe 1000 dollars from that credit card at the end of the month or maybe on the 20th of each month you have to repay pay that $200 that you've used or the $1,000. So in that case, once you repay that amount, that is not an expense. That is a liability that you've just repaid because the time when you were buying stuff with the credit card, that's the time you were incurring the expense and the liability. Okay. In that case, so what, what you were doing is you debit expense and credit liability. So let's say you use the credit card to buy a laptop computer. So in that case, you debit the laptop computer because it was an asset and then credit the liability which is the credit card which is in this case the master card but now you are coming to pay down that balance the one thousand dollars that you've just borrowed indirectly from the bank by using the line of credit so in this case you have to you are making the payment to the bank which is a liability so the 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 issue comes where the clients have already recorded these transactions like when they were buying stuff using the credit card and they connected the bank account through the bank feed so now they've recognized the expense for that account then when they pay down the credit card again they might be tempted to record that pay down as an expense instead of a lab i mean a, 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 a decrease to the liability because when they were buying stuff the transaction i mean the double entry was they credit the master card which is the liability the credit card account because it's a liability and then they debit the expense so now they've already recognized the expense so now if they pay down that credit card the the, the double entry should not hit the profit and loss. It's a balance sheet transaction. So in this case, we just debit the liability and then credit the, the cash or bank. In case the amount now will be the, let's say we pay $1,000. That's the amount. The date automatically populate. Let's say for example, today's date. What did we use to make this payment? Did we use a check? So in this case, we use check. So we select check-in and check this box to say i made a payment with a check so in this case we'll select we enter the check number so you see you you have the option to to put in the check number here so in this case we go with the 71 so we can check this to print later okay or we can just leave it as is then we also have the the option to enter the memo so in this memo we can just say this is a, a test 
So we also have the option to attach the payment. Maybe we can attach a receipt. We just select here and attach the receipt. But in this case, we're not going to attach any receipt. So once we finish, once we finish, we can select save. Okay. So once we click save, we have the option now to select more. You see the more, once we click more, we can see there is a journal entry. We also have the, the audit history. We have the option to delete this entry that is the pay down credit we we have the option to make it void so in this case let's just see the journal so once we click more we we select journal so the journal here will show us so the journal will show us what accounts were affected so we will see if the transaction has been recorded correctly so now let's see we have the check-in the account the check-in account was credited which is correct because 1000 was credited in the check-in and the mastercard account was debited so which is correct because the this is the this is what took place in the background so quickbooks record the transaction we just posted a transaction in our pay down credit but this is the double entry that quickbooks has recorded so you can see they credited the check-in account which is the cash because cash is re reducing and debits the mastercard which is a liability account because it has a credit balance because all liabilities have credit balance if they reduce we debit so in this case that's why they debited the, the mastercard with the 1000 so the net effect will be zero that is there is a debit of 1000 and a credit of 1000 so the difference is zero so this is how you record pay down credit card thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe like if you like the video and share see you in the next video thank you